Hey everyone, Jason Wackerly here. In this video today, I want to go over my favorite streamer fly colors for walleyes and white bass out on the rivers. We tend to fish streamer flies on three-way rigs using really long five and a half to six foot leaders tied to two flies, about an eight to 12 inch leader tied to a pencil lead sinker a three-way swivel. I'll show you guys real quick what that rig looks like right now. It consists of a pencil lead sinker, a three-way swivel, and a really long leader tied to two flies. I'll show you guys a diagram really quick so you guys can kind of map it out and get a basic idea of what I'm talking about. All right, now that you guys see the diagram and the basic rig, these streamer flies are something I've been using since I was a kid for walleyes, white bass. I've caught a lot of northern pike, crappies, perch, carp, catfish, all sorts of different fish on them. But when we're using them here in the Midwest, we tend to use them for walleyes and white bass. I've used streamer flies on fly fishing rods, large ones for northern pike and bass. That's a completely different ball game. But these streamer flies fished on the three-way rig are one of the most deadly river techniques for walleyes and white bass. Whether you're fishing the Mississippi River, the Wisconsin River, St. Croix River, the Wolf, the Fox River, the Rock River, it doesn't really matter. Here in the Midwest, streamer flies dominate, and they've taken off a lot more in popularity. For years, I used, back when I was a kid, teenager using them, people would look at me funny, wonder what the hell I was using. It seemed like it was only something that was popular up at the Winnebago, Lake Winnebago system, the Wolf and the Fox River when I was a kid. But there's specific colors that work better than others. And you can trust me, I've tried every single color under the sun, in the rainbow, every combination. And I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite colors right now. To start, my two confidence colors, the baits I have the most confidence in, Baits I like to start out with, no matter where I'm fishing, is purple flies, whether it's purple and red, or purple and white, purple back, red belly, purple back, white belly. I like to put silver in the purple and white. I like to put gold tinsel in the purple and red. Absolutely killer colors. Sometimes I'll just go with a flat purple bucktail with purple tinsel, a little bit of purple tinsel or kind of an aqua blue tinsel in it. Plain purple with some gold peacock colored tinsel is good. Or purple with, sh with a chartreuse belly and a little green. But purple is a major confidence color bait that I have confidence in when I'm out on the rivers. Purple doesn't get used a lot by a ton of fishermen. It's gained popularity in recent years. But most guys think you have to be throwing chartreuse green or bright orange or hot pink or yellow fire tiger colors. Kind of like that fly right here. Which absolutely works, especially if you get really dingy murky water. The bright colors can really shine. I'll even put some glow-in-the-dark tinsel in some of my flies just to make it stand out more underwater. But in the springtime and during the fall, if we're casting during the day, we're not dealing with too much murky water. In fact, purple can stand out even in murky water or even black, which black, black and red, that's another killer color right there black, red, and gold, or even like a black and chartreuse. That's a good color. But I like to put gold tinsel, silver tinsel, even like 
there's every color tinsel under the sun now, but I'll put some glow in the dark tinsel on some of my flies. But purple's really effective. I like going with green flies, like a flat buck, like the green bucktail with the green tinsel and some gold tinsel mixed in. I'll even go with uh, green and gold, Green Bay Packer colors here in Wisconsin. Green and yellow, green and gold. That's good stuff right there. Again, Fire Tiger, which I like to make my Fire Tiger with some green across the back, some yellow and chartreuse and an orange belly, which can be a really effective walleye color. Personally, I haven't done as good for white bass with the Fire Tiger, but I have done good with red and yellow for white bass, really good. This is a major color some days for me. I also love this purple. This is kind of an aqua blue belly. It's like a really off blue aqua colored belly with purple back, silver tinsel, purple tinsel. This is a really killer white bass color. Some days it seems like the secret weapon when nothing else is really working. Purple and chartreuse. Walleyes love the purple and chartreuse. But I also love to use red. Plain red. One of my best walleye colors. I do great for white bass on it. Just plain red with some gold tinsel. Great color. I love red and white. This is another good walleye white bass color crossover, which red or purple or green, you, you never know what you're going to catch, but walleyes and white bass, those three colors are my basic colors to start with. And I'll try to use two different flies on my rig because you tie two on one rig. Some guys like to tie an extra leader off the side of that lawn leader to space the flies apart, but I just use polymer knots and I tie both flies on one leader 24 inches apart. Never had a problem hooking fish, never had a problem at all doing it that way, been doing it that way my whole life. But some guys tie a little extra leader off to the side so their flies are spaced apart, which that's fine too. Just takes a little longer when you're tying your leaders. But black belly with purple back is really good. Black belly with green back, black belly with purple back. Black can be very effective, especially it seems like when the white bass, or not the white bass, the walleyes are on the pulse spawn bite and they start eating leeches after they spawn. That black color can really, can really shine during the pulse spawn period, but Blue and white and green and white are other colors. They kind of mimic like emerald shiners, lake shiners, minnows. And another really good color I love using is this color I kind of came up with. It's got a black back, a white belly, like a minnow, but I put a little silver tinsel and some peacock tinsel in there. It's kind of a greenish, goldish shimmer to it, but this thing looks like a fathead minnow or a shiner. Just a black and silver, basically. You can never go wrong with a black back and a white belly on a lure. If it mimics a shiner or a minnow of any type, a bait fish, it's going to catch fish. But those are just some colors I love using here out on the rivers and you can tie a rainbow of colors and go nuts and you might come across a new color a secret weapon out on the river but these colors right here I can promise you will catch you walleyes and white bass whether it's spring or it's fall but I'm gonna put all this stuff away now feed the cats hit the sack get some sleep 
I got some fishing to do tomorrow and another video to film. Hopefully I catch something and you guys will be seeing it eventually. But if you guys like this video, found this information helpful, hit the like button and please help the page out by subscribing to my page. It's free. Just hit the subscribe button. You'll get all my latest content and your recommendations. I need some sleep. Very tired. Good luck fishing and take care.